Welcome to Smalltalk Daily for Tuesday, November 10th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd walk through using JSON and Smalltalk with an example, and I've got the Twitter API that I've connected to. And to show you how this works, let's create a model, and our model is an instance of Twitter model. I have my client PI, which is just the HTTP level API. I've got kind of a divide here. I've got a model that is going to reify everything that comes back from Twitter into objects. And then I've got a lower level interface that just gives me back the JSON immediately. I could also give me back XML. I've just chosen an interface with the JSON interface. But that's what it gives me. So at the low level, if you just wanted to communicate at that end, you can get back JSON directly and then do whatever it is you want to do with that. At the higher level, at the model, you're going to get back Smalltalk objects. And in settings, then I have my settings, which is my username and password. I'm not going to click through into that, but that's how I pass this stuff over to the HTTP interface, which uses basic auth to talk to the Twitter side. So let's just get an example of how that works. If I send this simple API message, get lists, I'm going to get all the lists that I've defined in the Twitter interface over in the web browser. And this gives me back something called a user list holder, which is a class. And it's got instance variables of the lists, which is all the lists I've actually defined, and these cursor objects, which if you have a lot of lists, you can specify a cursor and get back pages of them. Basically, I have one that I implemented just so that I could see how this works. So let's dive into this. So it's a list object, user list. So it's got the name, the ID, the member count, and so on, and so on, and so on. If I go down here to Yuri, you can see that this is how I get to it in the browser. So if I were to go to twitter.com slash j-r-o-b-e-r slash smalltalk, I would get to it. Now that's kind of the high end of this. Let's go down to the low end, and this is the API that this guy calls. List for a specific user, not giving it a cursor, and then an error block. So let's just go ahead and inspect that result. You'll see this gives me back something a little less useful from my perspective, which is just the raw JSON. So I have this text, which Obviously, from the Smalltalk perspective, easier if I reify that in. And to see how that all works, let's go ahead and step through this in the debugger. So we'll go ahead and debug. And what we're going to do is we're going to send into that. And we're just going to go past all of this into this. And you see what's happening here is first it makes that low-level call. So let's just step through this. And it's going to pause for a moment while it makes the HTTP call. I can look at this at any point here. So for instance, you can see the content that came back is the JSON. So at any point, I can click through here. Now at this point, I go ahead and get myself a dictionary. So again, there's kind of a middle level interface that I'm kind of ignoring. I could get the dictionary, which if I double click on that, you see here I get at lists, at next cursor, at previous cursor. So again, this is a dictionary of an array of dictionaries. And then I can create this by using a from message, which I've created myself. And that's kind of an exercise left to the user how to transform a dictionary into an object. It's not hard. But that's what I've done here to dive down into that object and create a collection of these objects. So again, if I go ahead and run through, I can now go ahead and I didn't inspect. So let's do that one more time with an inspect. And that's how we get back this. So that's pretty much a walkthrough of how JSON can be useful in a Smalltalk application and how simple it is to use. You know, I have this interface that I built into this application, JSON from, which goes ahead and just gives me back my reified objects from the JSON. But the JSON interface itself just gives me a dictionary that comes back from that large text string. So that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.